Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Loki with 832 rating versus Vone with 1,262 rating, so it's going to be another high-rated DB video, and with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right in. We're going to see Loki win the rock, paper, scissors shoe, and then they will go ahead and decide to go first, 45 versus 60. Opening hands, we have Zeom and Ogre Dance, Deer Note, Valor, DD Crow, they have Safer, Tracer, Destrudo, Luna, the Dark Spirit, and Dragon Dark. Okay, this card just banished Dark to Special Summon itself from hand, the other effect doesn't come up. Um, saw people trying to play that in the, um, Luna Light deck before, and you could also banish, uh, the Dark from Grave, you could banish the, uh, the main one, the Kaleido chick, yeah, and then make it so that they can't activate the stuff during battle phase, and you can use this to make Utopia, which is cool, uh, normal summon out Zeomin, Zeomin effect, but they are in a 60 card deck, it's kind of cool, we've been seeing Vone on different decks, oh, like, the whole format, very interesting player to watch. Um, Deer Note, Reveal, Send, Special, and then we're going to get rid of those, go for Pabega Ruler, and then Pabega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, Special Summon back out, Mill 5, Add back Gamma, and then we're going to get rid of those, go in the Halk, Halk Effect the Special Summon, and then Halk will now bring out the Gamma from the deck, and then Pabega Ruler, Banish Light and Dark, Summon, and then Pass. So we are just going for very basic you know, Calamities with follow-up. Pass, they draw Snake. And then go main phase, Snake effect. I wonder how their deck does against it. Probably not that great. I don't think any deck does that great against it. I wouldn't say any deck, but most decks don't do that great against it. Uh, formula to draw on the resolution. Draws King. That's more follow-up. Formula in Graveyard. Lily, well, I guess, li no, hold on. Yeah, Lily in Graveyard is definitely the target for King. Uh, Formula is another thing in Graveyard that they could target otherwise if they didn't. Activate the effect. Normal summon safer. Yeah, this, this card says, you can activate this effect the rest of the turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, your opponent cannot activate their effects. Also, cards your opponent controls can activate their effects. It's actually big to know that because you can go with Shooter Bounds, which can be pretty nice. Uh, pass, draw Ash Blossom. But this is, uh, this is just game. King, target Lily, they admit defeat. They just wanted to see the follow-up. So going on to game two now, we're going to see Vone go first. Opening hands, we have Ash, Disc Coliseum, DD Crow, Dark Ruler, Reaper. They have Snake, Nessie, Black, Boot, Dragon Roar. So activate the Danger Snake effect. Hit Black, unfortunate. Special, draw Lure. Hey, that's fortunate. That goes through, draws Ravine, Gold Sark. Ravine's unfortunate. There's a lot of unfortunate stuff in this deck. We're going to Ash the Roar, and then activate Ravine, Ravine Effect, discard Nessie. Could chain DD Crow on that to stop him from getting a Surge, but it's probably just not worth it. Uh, Nessie Abs, go grab Jackalope, go grab Tracer. I said probably not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. Hit Tracer, Summon Draw, make Cherubini. Imagine. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. But imagine that. Banish Dark, Dark Effect, grab Hawk, um, activate the Thunder Dragon Hawk Effect, uh, get rid of itself, spell them back out the Roar, we're going to turn all of those into Curious, Curious Effect to go dump, and then it's going to dump Snow, Effect to Curious to mill 3, hits a Lure, Amin a Lure, okay so we got Snow to Graveyard with some free cards, Snow Effect, Banish to try to summon, uh, could chain DD Crow there, decides not to, I feel like chaining DD Crow there is actually kind of insane, right? If you chain DD Crow on Snow, they have two options. One, it gets banished, and they just lost the extender and seven cards in their graveyard. Or two, they chain Snow, and they're banishing all six from their graveyard, a card from Hannah Ravine, to make Appalooza, which like, obviously is not that strong, especially when you have Dark Ruler. Go for Appalooza, pass, draw Disc Coliseum. Activate Disc Coliseum, and also Galaxy Cyclone is an out to uh, Mystic Mine, which I'm assuming is why they play it, or at least why they kept it in. Normal Summon DD Crow, Battle Phase, they want to take damage here, um, not damage, but make it so that way they can activate Disc Coliseum effect to dump. They're letting this go through, they could Snow Dump it, or Snow Set it if they'd like, chooses not to. Uh, go ahead, Dump Lily, Main Phase 2, Dark Ruler, couldn't Dark Ruler first, otherwise you'd be beating over it. And then King Effect, Target Lily. In response, Chain Snow is what to say. Hold on. In response, Chain Snow. So go ahead, Banish. 
This makes us have a you can chain block the snow effect. Um, so summon, summon, equip, uh, chain link, snow chain link one, roar chain link two, hawk chain link three. They're gonna chain king in response, and then bring out roar. Activate the Reaper Foam Effect, target Lily, special summon, equip Lily. Uh, they can also use that to get rid of the random DD Crow that's on their board to get a free search for Therion Charge. They're not going to activate it though, so that way this can still um, do the bounce. Um, I actually... No, you would? Because... You, because, look, you can either get rid of Lily, or you can get rid of Discall CM. If you get rid of Discall CM, that's like your main follow-up but you draw two you've already normal though but you could draw a couple different things okay just goes to the end phase just goes to the end phase i'm gonna say kind of respect either decision but i'm full sending it with charge there draw baby let's go uh yeah okay roar yeah yeah I, I was just making sure i was like how was this roar summoned it was summoned off of roar um end phase it goes back to hand because of roar effect Pass, draw deer note. It's actually like a pretty common play back in the day. Pretty common play. Good players would use that to their advantage. Bad players would forget about it and mess up with it. <laughs> Tribute summon over Appaloosa and then turn those into IP roar effect. And then roar will summon. Could have bounced roar. They would have used their normal summon. Boot can summon back out Tracer. They each have a body. Puts them on have extender, extender. Even like if they have extender, like what is the extender really doing there? Uh, Roar bring out Hawk. Wow, they playing multiple Hawk. Go for Unicorn. Uh, unicorn one Hawk two Reaper effect to do the bounce. Put back draw Bigfoot. Uh, boot summon. Yeah, see, I just don't like this. I feel like this was played very bad on Loki's side. Tracer effect pop. It feels like they're just like, I don't know. Well, wait. No. No, 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 no. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. They didn't know about boot. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I forgot that they drew boot in Ravine. 100% this play was fine. Probably still bounce back the Thunder Dragon Roar. No, because then they go Hawk. And they get Hawk in the dark. And you're just not solving anything. Because they have duo anyways. You're not... Yeah, no, okay, my play was very, very, very wrong. That's why you think through your plays before committing to them. Imagine if I just played the game with full commitment 24-7. It's like, my opponent goes, activate, and I just instantly, like, it's either I do it or I don't. Full commit, no thought behind it. Sometimes you can do that once you, like, learn to format very, very well um, to certain things, but... Still not everything. Mill five. Safer Levy White. Oh my gosh. Yeah, grabs back white. Safer effect to grab back Levy. Oh, they're just that's tough. Now special summon out Levy by banishing lights and darks. Effect the pop. And then after that, we're gonna banish IP to summon out white. And then get rid of that for Striker Dragon. Uh, white effect to go search black, but it's banished. It actually was, uh, it was discarded off of the first danger effect. And then overlay goes into Zombie Vampire. Zombie Vampire effect attached. Make both players look at the top four cards of their deck. Mill them. They're going to bring out Bigfoot. And then just go battle fit. But Bega Ruler. Hey. That's cool. Um, but... Going on into game three now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Loki decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Diddy Crow, King, Ash, Valor, Itali. It's, uh, look, I don't know, you know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm crossing out the rest of the hand and just looking at Itali. They have Foxy Tune, Abs, Chaos Space, White, Foxy Tune. Um, so no going second cards. Uh, their deck doesn't play very many. Uh, Itali, bring out Ziamen, Ziamen Effect, pay the 600. Do the search. Uh, go ahead and grab out Foxy Tune. Can't do the Ogre Dance technique because Ogre Dance can't grab level 8. We need Foxy Tune here to get rid of itself and DD Crow. Bring out Deer Note. We have the Dark and Light Engrave now. Go for Pepega. Uh, Pepega 1. Deer Note 2. We already have the Dark. We don't have to like Zombie Vampire or anything. We're going to grab back Gamma off of this. Hits Endless Engine with a bowl. So it's pretty good. We have a target for King. Also, we just hit like Endless Engines, which is like. Free cards in Graveyard. 
It's like hitting multiple chaos spaces. It's like, oh no, I hit too many free cards. And then end phase, pass, draw. Who draws droplet off the top? You're lying to me right now, Vone. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Chaos base, get rid of Foxy Tune, no response, chain droplet, negate the Hauk, negate the King, Bull falls off of the negated King, they search Levy off of that, Abs effect to go search now, chain Ash Blossom, and then they're gonna go Foxy Tune effect, get rid of itself, and Levy, special out Z Amon, Z Amon effect, pay 600 to go search. Grab Deer Note, Special Summon Out White, and then they're going to turn those into Hauk. Um, white 1, Hauk 2, could see Valor Chain Link 3, chooses not to. So Special Summon Out, Rocket Synchron, go search out Black Dragon, and then that allows us to go into Striker Dragon at some point to grab Boot, which will get us another body. So Hauk giving us two free bodies off of it. And a boot face up on field. Like, card's just so plus. How is this card not banned? How is this card? How does this card get hit the one? That's all I want to know. Should have hit Mechum Phantom Beast or on the one, dude, just for the lulls at that point. Go for Appalooza. Banish some. I know some people are playing two of this, like in the sad decks, but do they ever really need to? Put back the draw. Draws in the snake. Okay. Gambling man, what is oh oh a discard summon draw into gamma and then go for pisty black effect to go search the white that we just put back to the bottom of the deck off chaos space and then pisty to summon striker striker to pop snake to grab rocket synchron and then we're gonna turn those into Romulus Romulus effect grab ravine you got think just Hulk. Hulk does so much. Effect, discard, dump Saferd. Saferd effect, banish, grab back Levy. And then we are going to banish Dark Sun Light to summon Levy. Levy effect to pop. So this will go through. Pop the King and Papega Ruler. And then get rid of those. Go for Triple Burst. Special, not special, normal summon out Rocket Synchron. I was going to say, that we've already done their special summoning techniques. Uh, normal summon out rocket synchron effect special summon back out levy and then turn those into access code effect digging attack and then effect a pop yeah end of main valor targeting access code that's annoying not that much bro i know you have gamma yeah it was added back off Popega ruler yeah but you have apo for the next turn yeah, imagine they like Apple losing the gate that after knowing too. So attack for some pretty good damage. Pass turn, draw Foxy Tune. And then they're gonna have to go main phase. Endless engine effect. Put itself to the bottom of the deck to grab King. And then activate the King effect. You know, you just have to let it go through, which is very unfortunate because they are getting a good amount out of this. Battle phase, beat over the Appalooza. 700 more because this makes it getting 700 main phase 2 uh, king effect copying the bull to pop bull and access code and then we're just going to go to end phase uh we could go foxy two and get rid of it go search the almond and then not do too much from there okay um I don't know. They could access code with that. Because you could go like Foxy Tune. No, I get I mean, it really depends like, what they play. But pretty much what you'd end up doing is having, uh, I mean, you just Foxy Tune, Z Amon, Foxy, or Z Amon effect, go search the level 3 fusion guy. Our ogre dance, normal summon afterwards, and then you make Asa, Asa take Deer Note, Deer Note, and Asa to make Selene, Selene effect gain counters, effect lose counters, summon back, access code, access code effect. Um, we only have, we have three pops. We have Earth, Water, Light. So we pop their whole field because Deer Note will allow them to summon back out. 
Z Amon, then we pop Z Amon, Rocket Synchron, Ravine, Pastoral Driver. I guess we do a follow up, but I feel like popping everything and then having like King negate when you know they have White in hand in their top decking, especially on a deck like this. I feel like it's too strong to not go for. Maybe they don't play Asa though. Asa is one of those cards that you either like it or, well, there's three things. You either really like it, you don't like it at all, or you just net decked, you just copied it, and that's why it's in your deck. Draw Valor, main phase, endless engine on bull. Add that back, put that back to the bottom of the deck. Bull effect target deer no is ridiculous, by the way. It is actually one of like, it's just such a crazy play. Effect, and they just say GG's, GG's. Seen how long the match was? It was a 40 long minute long, 40 long minute long match. Nice. Um. So, yeah, we saw the Punk Theory on deck versus whatever shenanigans this was. I think if Vone was on more of a serious deck he would have had a better time uh obviously playing a deck like this you're kind of handicapping yourself it's not that crazy of a deck doesn't have the going second cards that you really need we're not in a format where it's just dpe pass we're in a format where you're getting scythe locked or true king calamities or like full combo with snow and grave and hand trap and hand off the beggar ruler uh but with all that being said db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe